Dear patrons, here is the most, most basic crawl patch. Um, let me see if I can talk you through it. It's This is on my 1979 Surge. Um, so, top half of dual universal slope generator, I'm self-cycling it. And uh, with a crawl patch, of course, you, it's going to take, it, sometimes it takes me a long time to find the attack and decay settings. any rate, uh, it's a gate, or it's high out, is going to sample in, if we can see that, on the uh, stepped part of the uh, smooth function generator. And then I'm using sample hold uh, noise source. Uh, you could use pink or white or whatever you use for your noise source going into to the in, yeah, and so that's stepping nicely, and then I feed that back into both on the slope generator, and again trying to find the dance among these three uh, settings can take a while, um, but once you got it, then you've got something that's sort of asymmetric, non-periodic, and then that can go to your VCA and uh, let's see oh and also uh, so yeah back to ran or stepped out stepped out was going back to the DUSG stepped out is going to pitch of a new timbral oscillator and I'm sorry it's going to wave uh, shape on the variable wave and it's going to pitch so Three things coming out of stepped. Back to the DUSG, wave shape, and pitch of the new timbral oscillator. And that just goes into your VCA and out into the real world. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, what do I mean by it takes time to find the right place for these uh, knobs, the right proportion? Um, in this old Surge 1979, the uh, rise, this is super fast and super fast fall. We're in both mode with the uh, attenuverter at noon. So it can sound pretty wacky if you start out there. And then it's a matter of finding, you can find a steady rhythm. but then it still has a sharp attack and slow decay, so we can change the attack. And then the magic starts to happen with the attenuator. So you can see how that goes, or we can invert that.
Okay, I hope that helps. Have fun.